Hey, welcome back to Virginia This Morning. 19 public libraries have been selected to host a fascinating exhibit called Exploring Human Origins, What Does It Mean to Be Human? developed by the Smithsonian's Natural Museum of Natural History and the American Library Association. The Chesterfield County Public Library is one of those 19 chosen that will be featured this one-of-a-kind exhibition. Carolyn Sears from the library joins us this morning, and we welcome Carolyn to the show. Carolyn, great to see you. Thanks so Good much for coming in. Too. Thanks for having me. It's a pleasure, and congratulations. Thank this you. is a big deal coming from the Smithsonian. It no, sure you know, is. It, it, tell, us, tell the viewers how big of a deal it is. It's a huge deal. Um, there was a competitive application process for the exhibit, uh, and we were honored to receive it. We're one of only 19 libraries as you said, across the nation to host this exhibit, and we're actually the first to be displaying it. Really? Yes. So have you had uh, the Smithsonian folks down over to check out the library? They, um, we actually had to send someone to the Smithsonian for some hands-on training. Uh, they, the Smithsonian folks will be coming down to us uh, at various points during the month uh, when the exhibit is on and when the programming is happening, and they'll actually be delivering a lot of the programming themselves. Answering quite a question. What does it mean to be human? That's a big question. Yeah, tell us about it. Can we <laughs> easily scratch the surface here during a five-minute interview? You know, I don't know that it's about answering the question, but it is about asking the question and hearing all of the varied perspectives that um, that people have on that question. Um, yes, it, this exhibit is about the science, but it's also about starting a conversation uh, and trying to integrate people's different worldviews into the answer. So does it come down to a, a cultural approach? to what is being human? There's a cultural approach. There's all kinds of factors involved in that answer. It's, it could be a philosophical answer. Um, there's the arts involved in it, the biology, religion. All of these things combine to, to feed into to someone's answer to that question. What are we going to find at the exhibit? What will we experience if you walk into? The exhibit is a 1,200 square foot traveling exhibit. You're going to have some panels, some large graphic panels like you would see in a museum. There's going to be interactive kiosks. There's going to be some video learning stations. Um, and there is going to be a station where we invite the public to actually respond to the question, what does it mean to be human to you? And how long have you been hoping to land this exhibit? You know, the, it was a kind of a fast and furious process because we applied. Uh, we found out in mid-January, and, and here we are, ready to receive the exhibit. What can this do for the Chesterfield County uh, Public Library system? You know, we hope uh, we bring a lot of people from the region into the library. The library has changed so much over the past years. and in, in fact, it's had its own kind of evolution, you would say. Um, it's not all about uh, passive access to books. It's about the experience. It's about learning. It's about people coming together and learning from the staff, the collections, and each other. It's um, more of a community meeting place. It's not it's, just a, a solitary is. endeavor. Not at all. It's like today's town square, basically. Tell us um, about the, the, the future of books. I know a lot of people are gravitating towards e-books on their electronic devices, mm -hmm. but is there something about having a book in your hand that uh, is not going away anytime soon? There is, and, and I know people like us, we just, we are convinced that's the truth, but it is the truth. I mean, studies show that People still love their physical books. Kids do, teens do. There's, there's something about having that book and really remembering that moment where you were reading that book and coming back to that that is truly meaningful for people. Speaking of teens, is this exhibit and this show, is it meant for all families, all it is, ages? It is. Families um, with children of all ages will get something out of the exhibit. There are some interactive elements where you can actually touch the skulls. You can see the replicas of the skulls. You can it's hands on and spin them around. Um, the programming associated with it is probably geared more towards an adult audience because it is really um, advanced science we're talking about. Um, so, but there's something for everyone at some point over the course of the month. And when you have the Smithsonian backing an exhibit, you know it's going to be high quality. Absolutely. We, we've made a commitment as a library system to produce the highest quality programming for our community, and this really represents that quality. What kind of questions do you think people will leave with? Well, they're probably going to ask again the question what does it mean to be human I hope they'll ask questions of themselves and if they ca they came in with one idea and maybe they maybe they'll leave with a slightly different idea or the commitment at least to re-examine their ideas about that you might pe have people sort of lingering on going through the science section or 
myriad of other uh, topics, correct? Absolutely. Engaging in the convert, the conversation doesn't stop when you leave the library. And um, for how long is this going to be here at the Chesterfield County Public Library? The exhibit is coming on Tuesday, March 31st. It will be there through April 27th. Um, the programming, we have about eight programs that run throughout the month of April, and all of the information for those programming programs are um, on our website. Well, may I be one of the first to say congratulations on this fantastic Thank exhibit. You. Yeah, Thank one you. of 19. That's it. Well mm -hmm. done. Nice to see you again, Thank Carol. you, you All too. Right. Exploring human origins, what does it mean to be human? The exhibit kicks off Tuesday, March 31st, as you heard Carolyn say, and it continues until Monday, April 27th at the Chesterfield County Public Library's Central Library located at 9501 Lorry Road. Beautiful facility. The exhibit is free and open to the public. Even better, WTVR.com slash VTM is where you can go to find the link for all of the information, including hours of operation. Carolyn, thanks so much. Good luck.